welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to design a simple castro wheel in SOLIDWORKS here we will design each and every part and assemble at the end this is the simple design for the beginners those who want to uh, start the to learn SOLIDWORKS so this is best for them so let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS and uh, how to assemble and we will give this simple expl uh, exploded view uh, animation in SOLIDWORKS so let's see now here we will make the first part of caster wheel wheel or you can say tire that's all but we will make it in steel so let's start here choose front plane a sketch now here we will make our first geometry i'll choose center line always keep center line so you will get the perfect symmetric geometry choose here line up A exit now let's make one relation select this line and uh, choose this line uh, what relation uh, no uh, let's choose this both the end point and this line make relation symmetric see here okay first select the line make sure it is horizontal choose mirror now select this three four lines and mirror against this vertical line okay S sorry <coughs> you can see the preview okay choose line and connect it now this is the our symmetrical geometry now it's time to define it twenty eight millimeter Seven millimeter, fifteen millimeter, thirty five millimeter, the last and bigger one, fifty millimeter. Look at here. Let's define this gap. millimeter select ok now let's make one relation select both the lines shift key make relation equal now see our geometry is fully defined we uh, fix all the dimensions let's go to feature revolve boss base and we will choose this horizontal construction line now you can see see 360 degree okay see fill it keep one millimeter I'll choose this face select inside face rotate this side face I want to select all the faces just rotate it okay I'm using actually 3d connection mouse which helps me to rotate the component uh, still I am learning this one is still uh, not uh, familiar with this product but soon I'll be so select I think we selected all the edges select okay okay that's fine first of all let's define the raw material go to metal we will define it iron cast iron now let's choose one face I'll make it red color select this I think select the inside one so it helps us opposite direction select here ok now this is the castor wheel or 
you can say directly wheel let's save this part select save go to desktop and create here one folder uh, let's choose caster wheel and let's make this part one wheel save let's do it some other parts let's do the next part is bracket bracket for caster wheel so let's start here choose front plane a sketch choose your line and uh, draw a horizontal vertical and horizontal uh, sorry vertical horizontal vertical line uh, no need to directly select both the end points and origin point horizontal let's better make make some select these three lines make relation symmetric that's fine let's define this one keep 30 millimeter height keep 67.75 millimeter now see the geometry is fully defined so right click on the command manager and choose here sheet metal we will create this with the help of sheet metal just go to sheet metal select here ba base flange now end condition we will keep mid plane width we want 44 millimeter see here now thickness 2.5 3 millimeter we want keep radius radius 3 millimeter corner radius we like to make 3 millimeters and uh, if you will check the normal view you can see the thickness comes inside here select reverse direction now see it comes from outside the line now other things we will keep as it is select here ok that's it now select this face sketch normal choose here line select from here to here and go back and create a circle up to here and draw up to this end point exit select both the curve and point tangent relation select this bottom line and circle uh, we want to make some relation tangent relation choose here dimension keep radius 10 millimeter that's enough for our geometry so just go to sheet metal you will find here one extruded cut option or even in, in feature also you will find extruded cut option now see select here through all and one more thing we want to cut see we want to cut flip side you can see this arrow a small arrow is go going that this direction that means it will cut this direction part and this is what we we want select here okay see that's we want select this face again a sketch circle let's define the center point and keep the diameter 8 millimeter again choose here extruded cut and keep here and condition through all now you can see here okay that's it now select the top face sketch normal select circle and choose from the center point let's draw 14.5 millimeter and uh, sheet metal and let's choose extruded cut here the one option link to thickness that means it's going to cut only up to thickness 
sometimes it's become difficult to handle by 3d mouse see so that's uh, almost here select here sketch now here we want to make some slot for washer or something uh, we want to fix a saw clip actually so select here normal view center line okay corner rectangle exit now select center line and both the vertical lines and here we'll, we will create a relation in your left hand side you can see symmetric now it's symmetric geometry it is also coincide here let's define six millimeter width keep 2.5 millimeter now for further you can select fully defined sketch calculate now you see it is fully defined okay select extruded cut select link to thickness select ok that's it select now let's define this one go to appearance uh, I'll choose steel uh, I'll choose polished steel polished steel it looks quite dark uh, there is one more option nickel polished nickel this also not impressive if we will go satin finish satin finish if we will uh, try some aluminium finish see if we will try some aluminium finish it's quite looks better see it gives you a real view let's save this one as it is we will give the name part number two bracket now here let's make the third part post so let's start with front plane a sketch we'll choose your line let's start with origin point let's go a little inside and connect it again exit let's define it keep the overall length 43 millimeter seven millimeter nine millimeter let's create some relation select these two lines this one keep parallel to this one or you can choose collinear let's define this 9 millimeter 4 millimeter 3.75 millimeter that's it now let's define from this top line to this line 25 millimeter let's choose this one 3 millimeter now see the geometry is fully defined I hope you note down all the dimensions 
revolve boss base okay chamfer keep 1 mm and 45 degree select this upper face we will define this color aluminium brushed we had one option aluminium satin but this brush looks pretty even though yeah, if you like to choose chrome finish we can choose but the chrome finish it looks like uh, sometimes see it's blurry even brushed chrome whoa that's look fine save and choose post save let's check out what other paths now here let's make our next part bush shaft bush so we will choose here right plane a sketch circle and let's draw two circles now keep outer diameter 13.95 millimeter 0 0.5 0.5 millimeter is the tolerance and inner one keep 8 millimeter now select here extruded boss base and keep the length 28 millimeter and condition mid plane select here ok satin finish Let's save this one part number caster wheel 4 and this is the bush. Now let's make the next part. Now here let's make the next part so clip. So let's start with front plane a sketch this dimension we took from some standard saw clips so let's define it choose circle draw here three circles now let's define one by one nine point six five two Six point three five millimeter four point six two three millimeter. This dimension we took some standards of clips. Connect from here to here. Escape. Let's define center line. choose here line select this line connect with exit ok now we want to do some more things choose here line select this line connect with this line exit now select here trim entities choose here power trim and press your left key drag see drag see how we get this dimension uh, here we want to remove backside 
now this three geometry trim this one we will copy there okay mirror entity select this all geometry inside and just copy select copy mirror center line okay uh, we forget to trim this bottom now it's open from one side that's fine even we can directly put it some chamfer here uh, and this one we will keep 0.5 millimeter these two corners okay now let's define some smart dimension circles we already defined only we will define this three point zero four millimeter uh, we really did the mistake because uh, we need here to choose this let's this uh, the okay three point eight one I think no so we will do one thing we will just go undo again and do uh, okay that's fine let's define this dimension then later we will 3.81 millimeter three point zero four millimeter and here choose and keep this one one point five two four millimeter okay that's fine now see the geometry is fully defined now you can apply zero point five in both the corners okay now this is the exact drawing of saw cliff extrude keep end condition mid plane thickness point 0 0.635 millimeter that's it little dark okay let's save this part number five so clip save uh, let's check the last part i think shaft is balanced now here let's make the last part of castor wheel shaft main rotating shaft so let's start with front uh, choose right plane sketch circle draw here two circles keep outer one 16 millimeter seven point five millimeter select here extruded boss base keep reverse direction only two millimeter here select selected contour and select outer one see we want to make a full we don't want any hole here so, okay now you can see now choose again the same sketch extruded boss base here this time choose inner one only see here we selected inner circle keep the length 38 millimeter okay that's fine front plane sketch normal choose your line up to this line exit
let's define this 2 millimeter and let's angle 45 degree okay go to feature and select here rib now once you choose the rib see it took the center point select here both side thickness only 2 millimeter you can see here let's keep some angle 1 degree that's perfect select ok now see this is the rib command we used here a rib command and created a simple rib it is uh, very helpful for during locking locking for pin right front plane sketch normal now here we will make some groove corner rectangle now let's define this 3.2 millimeter let's keep the width Point seven three millimeter and distance from outer edge keep three millimeter and keep this length anything we just want to bigger than the rod or this shaft okay now choose your revolved cut select this line as a axis of revol revolution okay now see the groove choose chamfer select this face now we selected this 1.545 degree ok fill it select this face 0.5 millimeter that's perfect now this is the our pin or you can say shaft let's choose appearance A steel Certain finish looks quite better. Save shaft. Okay. Now here let's start the assembly of cast wheel. So choose your window minus file and choose new keep here assembly ok now this is the solidworks assembly window in your left hand side you can see big be begin assembly so let's browse your part select wheel and uh, we will choose wheel then shaft uh, let's bring first part first part by default always fixed plane now insert component shaft insert right click on the shaft and click fixed right click on this part select float now see it is floating and this is fixed it will not move all the part move along with this insert browse and choose your bush open Now select here mat. Choose this hole of wheel and this pin, a shaft, bush, co-centric relation. Select this face and this face, coincident relation. Okay. Now see. 
now it's time to fix select this shaft uh, and uh, bush hole co-centric relation okay now before putting some other relation let's browse over next part insert and bracket is important part choose your mat select this hole and this hole and make relation co-centric that's fine now we want to create one important relation just go to advanced mat here you will find width okay now select this face and this face now the same way this face and this face now see it comes in mid in center position select ok now it's time to we want to make it select this face and this face coincide uh, I think it will not coincide because it is tapered so what we will do open this part select this rib edit feature and here uncheck angle select ok now cancel select here yes select here also yes now again try select this face mat we want to make this face coincide relation ok let's keep parallel ok select this face and uh, this face coincident relation now cancel it now this is the our caster wheel it is see now let's fix other parts select so clip and uh, control key and the last one post open this is the post and this is the circle clip choose your rotate command and rotate this one okay choose your mat uh, let's do one thing take it little out mat select the circular face co-centric relation okay select this inside face and this side face select ok now see the circle clip is fixed in this groove now it's time to fix this one select this face and the whole co-centric relation select the back face of this collar and this face coincident relation ok so now this is the about simple caster wheel it is a widely used component in anywhere select here now save this one as a caster wheel assembly Uh, now let's choose here exploded view we will create some exploded view so first we will create 
remove this circlip actually circlip we need to remove manually again select and take it back select the pin and take it backward direction undo okay again select z direction select this one upward direction a little this direction again choose and back side z direction now the inside bush again z direction back side and the last one is wheel okay right click collapse right click on assembly and select here animate explode now see it's going to explode here here you can even you can save this assembly just click save assembly i'll choose the frame side here frame speed i'll always prefer 50 frame or 60 frame is up to you avi file this is the only option in solid works let's save uncheck this key because uh, it always create the problem i don't prefer this one quality 85 okay and select okay now see it is again recalculating this one and you can choose here stop now those assembly already saved in your system i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works and thanks for watching